Then I didn't even open the letter. I just saw the headlines. I showed it to my dad. My dad was there. Look, I got a scholarship. <laughs> and then my dad like opened the letter first. Right, right. And then we opened the letter, and then my eyes straight up went to the shoe of the scholarship. Yeah, and yeah I freaked out. <laughs> you have to use your passion to like help others. Like somehow, like most of my application was based on my passion. How I'm using that passion to help others. Hey everyone, welcome to Darpan Chat Central. Recent graduates are being awarded for their hard work uh, by receiving great money and uh, I've got such a student with me. He is a graduate of Queen Elizabeth Secondary School and is the recipient of the coveted Schulich Scholarship. Yes, he is a Schulich leader. It's given out to about a hundred individuals and uh, he's one of the recipients and uh, you can use that money towards STEM, which is science, technology, engineering and mathematics. And uh, I definitely want to know what he's going to do next with all that money because that is definitely a lot of uh, money that you can put towards your education. As well, with the Schulich Leader Scholarship, it uh, allows you to join an elite group of people and their other benefits as well. So let's say a huge congratulations and a warm hello to Sarthak Tyagi. Hi, Sarthak. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. A huge congratulations. Thank you. Wow, a whopping 100k and and you're just ready to cruise right through university. This is this is great. So tell me what the reaction of you and your family was when you found out that hey, I'm I'm the recipient. Yeah, so I actually received multiple Shulik offers. So the first one I received was late March. Okay. And then I received so the university I received the first offer from, I didn't really apply to any entrance scholarships. So I was like shocked. I'm like it has to be like academic like my grade based scholarship. Right. And then I didn't even open the letter. I just saw the headlines. I showed it to my dad. My dad was there. Look, I got a scholarship. Yeah. And then my dad like opened the letter first. Right, right. And then we opened the letter, and then my eyes straight over went to the shoe cleaner scholarship. Yeah, and yeah I freaked out. <laughs> and then right. a month later, I received a, a call. I called her from UBC, and the UBC initially called me first, but my phone was on do not disturb mode. I was studying for something. <laughs> oh. And then they reached out to my brother, and their brother came to me. Oh, UBC is calling you. I'm like. Why would you call, me? call you? Yeah. And then I picked up the. He gave the phone to me, and then they said, "We want to offer you the Shulik Leader Scholarship too." And then I was just amazed. Uh, yeah, know. like <laughs> oh wow, hey, like hey, yeah, put it all on the table. <laughs> Let's go here. This is incredible. Um, now, when we talk about this particular scholarship, I mentioned you know science, technology, engineering, mathematics. I know that you have a leaning towards engineering. Yes. So, which particular field are you wanting to get into? So, I'm planning to go into computer engineering, and then further on, maybe specialize in some a certain field related to computer engineering. So, yeah, computer engineering my end goal. Okay, and where are you going to pursue your studies in the uh, fall? I'm going to University of British Columbia. Okay, yes. so UBC, very nice. So that's who you decided to go with. Yes, correct. Okay. All right. I know that the Schulich Foundation was wowed by your invention and, uh, you know, everyone's just going, this is incredible. Uh, he's such a bright young kid. So tell me a little bit about uh, the invention that you've created. Yeah, so I created a smart navigation stick for blind people. Okay. So it basically is start vibrating and it, when it detects a nearby obstruction, it starts to vibrate. So it alerts the individual there's something along the way they should move that other direction. Wow. So after creating the, uh, my device, I reached out to trades around the world and they were really interested impressed. Yeah. So yeah, I've been working with them to donate these keys to them. That's great. Like to think beyond uh, your own self and for the broader community. That's really nice. So um, which charities have reached out to you? I have reached out to a charity in India and then I have reached out to a charity in Canada too and then we can have a break in future. And so you've also been uh, bestowed with another award for the work that you've done at the community level. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so I won the Terry Fox Humanitarian Award. I was really grateful to be selected as one of the, I think, 20th recipient. Right. And then I'm the uh, only one who's really believe. So Great. Really, yes, yeah, it's, it's awesome. That is, that is quite something. And uh, if there is a message you'd like to share with um, you know, the ones who are heading into grade 12 in this coming academic year and if they're wanting to apply for the scholarship, any advice or tips yeah. and also a message you'd like to share with the youth in general about, uh, you know, wanting to make their dreams come true. Yeah, for sure. So looking for scholarships like these, it's not like all about grades. So many people get fed up and like it's all about we have to get high grades. Yeah, it's definitely one factor, like it's definitely one big factor. You have to get 
high grades because you're competing with other like minded well bred students. But other things like you have to get involved in extracurricular things, start volunteering. Like through those you can find your passion and you have to use your passion to like help others. Like somehow like most of my application was based on my passion and how I'm using that passion to help others. So that's like one of the big factors that other people have to like really figure out and then really use that passion to help others. And that's how you have a good chance of winning these scholarships. That's such a wonderful message, Sarthak. That's great. Well, we wish you all the best for your uh, future endeavors and for your studies. And I have no doubt that you will be doing amazing things uh, throughout your life. So thank you so much for yeah. taking the time. Thank you for having me here. Thank you.